Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and this is my blog. I'd like to show you how to put one of those funky little forms that flash up and say, hey, how can we help you? Which then you get all the person's information coming straight back to an autoresponder that I can show you later what one of those is. And it all looks quite professional and funky. So let's go and have a look and see how we do it. Now, it's actually going in the back end of a blog, so this one's mine and I've put it in already. And I'm going to show you how to add it to another one. So you need to be in the back of your blog. So most of you will know how to find that and you do all sorts of things. It's actually the dashboard which is here, so click on there first and it may possibly take you straight into that. But then what you actually want to do is go to your plugins and add new. Now this one has been downloaded. You can find the link on the fan page or I will leave it at the bottom for you. But you've got to upload the plugin from your own computer where you've put it down. Okay? So I know what it's called and I'm just going to go and choose it. And it's just in here. And this is what it's called. So let's just click on that and click open. And that's then going to install. So that's quite simple. And what it'll actually do when it's installed, it'll be in the background ready for you to then configure. So let's, rather than wait for that one to finish, it doesn't take very long. Let's just go and have a quick look at what it will then give you. So it will be in settings and you're going to look down for pop-up domination. Okay? And then you get all of these settings to change how it looks and feels. So I decided I wanted purple, although I did try turquoise earlier. Red's not a me thing, but it may be you. Hey, you might want to be funky green whatever. Um, this little button here also has a colour and that's up here on this drop down so you can change it to blue, green, red, orange, whatever you fancy in there. You also have different templates to choose from which are here. So there's template 1, template 2, template 3, I think there might be five working on here. No, there's only four. Okay. There you go. So I decided I want that, which is actually the biggest one of all of them. So I decided if I was going to use it, you may as well see it. So it all looks pretty funky. Um, and let's go on to the next bit. But what you must remember to do every time is when you make a change, is update options. So then it'll hold it and save it till the next bit for you. Okay. So then you go to your mailing list. Now, this code here came from the MailChimp sign up form. I don't know how many of you have got MailChimp, but you ought to have it. I'll give you a link to it at the end of this for you. And it's free for up to 2,000 names on your list. All of this code that's been created in here was created by MailChimp for me. I don't know, need to know any coding at all. All I need to know is how to copy and paste. And I use Ctrl and C to copy and Ctrl and V to paste. Now I've left, um, I'd like it to come up into a new window. So then when it comes up, there's a window above it. Um, I don't want to take the name, disable name box off because I actually want their names. So I was just left that in. Okay. Um, this code at the bottom is put in automatically for you by putting this code in here. So let me just take you straight across to MailChimp to show you where I got my code from. Okay. So when you log into MailChimp, you end up here and what you're actually after is a list which are in here 
this is you can just create your list of what you want it to be so you might have a separate list for every piece of marketing and you can see exactly which ones are actually ranking and doing things on the back of each one of these lists you can add autoresponders which means you only have to type once what it is you want to send and you can send a whole series of things out but I'm not going to show you right this second how to do that we'll go into that in more detail later all you're really interested in is your form for the moment okay so when you click on your form you actually want one for your website and you actually want the sign up form embed code and that brings you here now that's only given me the email address and I actually want their name as well so by clicking on options I can change that and I can add all sorts of different things so we can go to the classic form and then we can take all sorts of things from here so we can change what we want to say at the top we can say um, what fields we want in it we can set the form width now if you're using this on a Facebook fan page it's probably very important for you to get this right I set my form at 300 um, I ignored all of the rest under here because I didn't need it and then you go and create embed code and this is what you're copying so you just press ctrl and c or whichever way you want to copy and you take that across to your list and that's what you're going to post in here now there's lots of other things all the way along here that you can update this is the title so it's probably worth you getting this right you've got 50 characters this is the rest of it um, what you want to come up I'll show you on mine in a second and you'll see how it looks the footer I think it's quite important that you're going to tell everybody you're not going to share their details they're probably much more likely to give them to you and this is what goes on the button that they click now this is quite fun here upload file you can put any picture you want or you can go and resize it um, they're suggesting eCover creator I actually do mine in photo bucket but whatever you're comfortable with and again don't forget to update here so whatever changes you make as you do them please just remember to update them so list points these are your benefits what are they going to get out of it why should they be doing it so the most common one I get is what do I talk about especially for blogging what's the best platform there are so many out there yes there are probably the top five but what's going to work for them everybody's very different how can it help my business that's really important why would you do something and how do I get started these are all things that we actually talk about and this is what I've actually said to them we're going to give you help of varying bits and pieces to do with all of these so that's quite cool as well so scheduling now it's quite annoying if you go on a site and it continuously bombards you with this form so it's actually quite important to get it right for your site they're suggesting that once somebody shut that button they don't see it again for seven days actually that's pretty cool for you however this button is quite useful clear my cookie that's what tells the computer that it shouldn't be doing it again for seven days if you need to see what it looks like on your page you're going to need to come here and clear that so you can see what amendments you've made and how long um, you know before you do it again otherwise you're waiting seven days to check it which is not a good thing so on open how long should I wait before it's shown well I've put three seconds and I'll probably amend that a little bit I like that for the moment and see what happens I am NOT going to do the Java thing for the moment I might look at it later this is essentially if somebody hasn't done what you suggested you'd like them to do it will give another pop-up that says are you really sure or give another um, option for what they can do 
um, quite a lot of marketers use it to give another offer to try and keep them. Um, these are a list of pages that are within my site. I don't really want it popping up on every single page, so I've cherry picked them. You can also show them on categories and on pages as well, and that's what this nice little tick down box shows you. So I've, when I've changed all of those, I then want to update it again. Preview. This is what it looks like. How cool is that? So they can put their name, their email address and click through. And this is all the information that I've just put in there. Picture. So this is what I mentioned at the bottom about not sharing. So that's pretty cool. And if you click through on this, you can actually get the link to go and do your own, which is quite funky. So, what else on here? You can promote it and you can put it on a Clickbank. If you've not heard of Clickbank, you get essentially a couple of dollars when somebody uses something that you recommend. I only ever recommend things that I have used for either myself or for my clients and that I like and agree with. We earn a couple of dollars, you can go and do the same. So if you don't want to use it, you can go and Google it, find it yourself, and then get your own. So that's quite cool. Advanced. Now, unless you're really hot at doing stuff, this is probably not a good place for you. The CSS styling and the theming are all over here. And this is all the coding that's in the background. Unless you're really hot on this sort of thing, I'd probably completely ignore that one. So this is all the background stuff that's making this work. Probably not a good place for you if you're not sure what it's doing. Okay. So let's go and have a quick look what it looks like. If I've taken my cookie off, otherwise it's not coming up. So onto the blog, that's the beginning. Hopefully after three seconds, it'll come up. Brilliant. So if people don't want to do anything with it, they can just click here and then get back to the blog. So if you've got any questions, please come and ask. Come on the Social Media Cafe fan page or ask to be a member of our Flows group and we'll see what we can do to help you. Thank you.